guys, it's Classy Jade. This here is my room and it is pretty messy and not really decorated and I have stuff all over the floor and it needs an update. Uh, see this contraption right there? This is what I had to set up to be able to make YouTube videos. These boxes and duct tape and everything. So yeah, it is a mess. Really messy. So I want to show you guys how I'm going to redecorate my room and make it look a lot, lot better. So here we go. So this first project is spray painting this um, shelving case that I got. Oh, that's me. Um, this shelving case I actually got for free. My boyfriend gave it to me, which is really awesome because I really didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on a shelving case, but I really wanted one. And there I was showing you to wear clothes that you don't really care about in case you get some paint on you and to make sure you wear your mask. And I was having trouble spray painting at first. And the paint that I've been using here was is a primer because I didn't want my shelving case to have a glossy finish. But this paint that I used, it wasn't enough and it was it wasn't the greatest. So I actually just covered it all with this paint and then got a different paint to finish it off with. So after I coated it with this paint primer, I got a different one which was also a primer but it was, it was a darker gray, it sprayed on better and it had a lot more spray paint in the bottle so it, it just, it was a lot better. And I liked that it was matte, it was gray, which is what I wanted, and just, it turned out really nice. But this primer actually kind of messed up the end result because it was really patchy, and the spray paint actually like started to drip onto my shelving case. But oh well. The end result, I, I still love the shelving case. It's so nice. And here it is, the finished shelving case with the darker primer that I didn't video me doing, but same idea, you just spray paint it. And this is really awesome to get something used or something given to you and just paint it whatever color you like instead of buying something that's really expensive. And I mean, this was free, which is awesome. So this is what it looked like before, it was black and it needed touch to be touched up and this is the end result which I love and I also he also gave me another shelving case the smaller one that I spray painted the same color and I love it it is so cute this next DIY it's not really a DIY but I just I put different I changed the knobs that were on my little, little dresser thing there and just got some different looking ones from Hobby Lobby and I put them on the drawer because I've always wanted to do that but I'm not I'm not really sure if I love it or not but I did. This next DIY I I love it. Right now I'm I'm taking off all the pictures that are on my wall because I'm going to put material on my wall because I was sick of the blue on in front of my desk but repainting it wasn't an option. So I got this material. It's actually a uh, shower curtain from Marshalls. I got it for like $16 because I loved the pattern. Is actually, I, I liked it better than anything that I could find at a craft store. So here I am just um, pinning it up with, with tacks. Which was kind of difficult, maybe 
someone like helped you do it, it'd be easier, but I got it done. I just really wanted a change there. And I was like, oh, material, that's an awesome idea. And the bottom of it, I just cut it off because I knew I could use the material for something else. And this is really cool because you can you can change the way your wall looks. You can just get a different material and, and switch it out. It's really easy and it's cool. I like it. And I just tucked it in. It's done. This next one, um, I got these bins, storage bins from the dollar store and I love them. And I was so bummed that I only got two. So I was like, I'll get two and then I'll see if, I, if they even fit in my room if I like them. And I loved them and when I went back to go get more, they weren't there and they didn't have any more. So I was bummed, but I, I'm glad I at least got two. And I'm just, I'm spray painting them with metallic silver and gold to give it a, to make them look like metal. And I'm spraying the inside. It is best to spray paint outside when it is not windy, but where I live, it is, it's always windy. So, oh well. Sometimes like spraying in the morning is sometimes better than spraying in the afternoon, like what I was doing. I love them in my room. I just wish I had gotten more. Now this next DIY was the hardest of all of them really because I'm here, I'm making drawers for my shelving cases. But to do that I had to get boxes and then make them the right size because they weren't the right size for my shelving cases. And I looked in all the stores for boxes that I could just buy for my shelving cases and I couldn't find I couldn't find any that fit perfectly. And I think decorative boxes are, they're overpriced, well I think, I think a lot of things are overpriced, but it's like I can just make them myself. So I got boxes, I, I'm cutting them to make them the right size, and with the leftover pieces of cardboard, I, I glued on the box to make it, to make it stronger because I wanted these boxes to be really, really strong. And I'm using hot glue to glue these boxes. It's super good for this project because if I'm gonna, if I were to use a, a wet head adhesive, one that I have here, I would have, I would have used a ton of it. And I would have had to wait a long time for it to dry, so hot glue is, is really good for this. And I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut the boxes. So if you do do this, be careful with the X-Acto knife. Sometimes I think I got a little too comfortable with the knife and I wasn't really careful. So just be careful. I didn't cut myself, but 
It's a sharp knife. a lot of work and it seems kind of tedious. It took a lot of time. I really enjoyed doing it. It was, it was fun. I like sitting on my floor and listening to music or an old show and just crafting. As you can see, I'm adding a lot of layers of cardboard and all around the box so that it is, it's really strong. There you can see so I have two done. And I use blue masking tape. Just, I put it around the edges just for more reinforcement, I guess. And I got some material from a, a thrift store. And I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to put the material on this first box. I actually didn't have a lot of either of the materials, so I had to figure out how I can put it on the box and like, not wasting any of it. I had to figure out how to not waste any of the material. And I'm also using a uh, hot glue to glue the material down. And I'm not putting hot glue on the whole surface and putting the material down, I'm just putting it in certain places. With 
On these boxes, I put material on the bottom of the box and on the inside because I wanted them to look I wanted them to look really good, like store bought really good. So, I made sure to leave some material on the top uh, of the box so that I could fold it in so that you don't see any of the blue masking tape or any cardboard. As you can see there. And trust me, it is better to have more material than you need than to have barely enough to cover your boxes because then you're going to if you don't have enough, that would really not be good. I barely had enough to cover this box, but I made it work. And I'm putting the hot glue down and then just lightly pushing it down because it's still really hot. So just, if you do this, make sure you don't burn yourself pushing it down, but you do want to um, to push the material into the glue so that it, it folds really good. And you don't have to do the bottom of your boxes, you don't have to make sure that the bottom is decorated, but I knew that I wanted to. I, I wanted the bottom, even the bottom, to look pretty. So the outside of the box is decorated, the material, and now I had to figure out how to do the inside of the box with this blue material. And the first box was the hardest because it was the first one I had done. I was, I knew that decorating in the inside of the box would be hard. And again with this material I didn't have I didn't have a ton of it, so it took a while for me to figure out how to cut the material out of put it back together so that it was the right size and that it was enough. I had very I had barely enough to cover the inside with this material. So I knew that when I got material for my other boxes, that I was going to make sure that I had more than enough material. So here's the first box that I finished. Took me a couple hours, but it was worth it. And I like it. I like the material that I like how it has material on the inside and outside, and how the material, the blue material, came over the top of the box so that it showed.
Here are some more boxes that I made. I made five more boxes. And some are bigger than others. And here is a bunch of material that I got. I got it at Walmart. This material would, like they were all like three bucks a yard and I got a lot. Now this material that I have here, which is a rose print, I love it. It I got it at a thrift store. It was like a, a curtain. And I just, I'm getting that. And it probably cost me, I think it cost me like, $2. But I wish that there had been a lot more of the material. It was just enough to cover the box. I could barely go over the top, as you can see, the top of the box, and the bottom as well. It was a little tricky. decorate all these boxes I used a lot of hot glue so I made sure to get um, the really long uh, sticks of hot glue and I got like 24 four sticks yeah 24 sticks and I was like I'm not gonna use all that I I got it because that was the only size for that was the only amount for that size, even though I thought that was way too much. And I only ended up with like three <laughs> left after this project, so it was a good thing that I got all those, because I was only gonna get like 10, and it was not enough. It wouldn't have been enough. the boxes that I made I covered with material that I got at Walmart and I really suggest getting material at Walmart because like two of the materials I got were 150 a yard which is awesome this material here was like that I used for this box it was probably like two bucks a yard it was super cheap and this one as well and this material was a buck fifty a yard I could not believe it. And I covered it with a, a thicker material inside. Uh, just a gray material. It was almost like jean, and it was really inexpensive too. This next DIY was really fun. I spray painted this lamp. A toy elephant. These little plastic toy dogs. And a box. A plastic box. Now this lamp I got at Target uh, maybe a year ago. It was, it was like five bucks, it wasn't very much, but I, I wanted it to match my room better, so I spray painted it with metallic silver paint. And don't do that, don't, I was impatient so I touched it too much and I dragged it around and I had to spray paint it a couple times to fix that. This toy elephant, I love it because I have become obsessed with elephants. I got it for a dollar at the thrift store. I want to get more of them, but I can't find them in Goodwills just yet, but I spray painted it gold. And I am 
I'm spray painting these dogs, but it's not focusing. They were like a buck for both of them. And yes, I have Velcro curlers in my hair. <laughs> I try not to get that in the camera, but I did. And this box I also got at the thrift store, and it was like a buck fifty. Because it's kind of like the, the green boxes I got at the dollar store. But not quite, that I swear painted it. And here are the animals. I love them. There, how to focus. They're so cool. Like, I want to do this to a bunch more toys. I want to get a bunch of them and spray paint them gold. I saw this on Pinterest and I knew I had to do it. And I love the elephant. It is so, so cute. I'm going to get more toy elephants and spray paint them gold. Upcycling pillows. Now this is a really good one for saving money because pretty pillows are kind of expensive. I know at Hobby Lobby they have really cute pillows, really decorative pillows, but they're, they're kind of pricey. So I got some pillows at the thrift store and I washed them and I covered them with the leftover material from my boxes so that my room like matches and the colors and the different materials they they match it ties in my room and I'm sewing the material directly onto the pillow on this pillow actually I did that to all the pillows I made or that I upcycled and I really, really wanted to use hot glue to, uh, to upcycle these pillows so that I didn't have to hand stitch. But I came to realize that hot glue doesn't really stick, to, doesn't keep two material pieces together as much as, ugh, <laughs> as well as I would like. I could, if I glued super, uh, uh, not super glued, if I hot glued two pieces of material together, I could pull it apart, which I, I didn't like that. So I just hand stitched, which takes time, but oh well. It, it looks nicer. You can see the stitching. And if you pick a, a color that contrasts with the purple or with, with whatever color, it looks nice. And I love the purple that I used for this pillow, and actually all the purple material that I got. I've come to really like purple, which is very unlike me. I'm a blue girl, I love blue. But I am kind of venturing out. I am starting to like different colors, which is good, really good. So there it is, it's done. And I got this other pillow. I got it at a garage sale. And I'm covering it with the, the rest of the rose uh, printed material that I really, really like. This pillow was harder to cover because I didn't have a lot of the material, again. And I did try to use hot glue for this pillow just because it was hard to stitch this pillow because it was it was thick or I don't know, it was just it was harder for this pillow.
And here's this pillow. I got some lace and I put it around the edge and I did a thumbs down because I messed up on that corner. But the front and back of the pillow look nice, but the edges of the pillow look kind of messy. But it's a super pretty pillow and I like it. And this last pillow, um, I also, I hand stitched it. And I didn't, as I was finishing up here, I realized that I didn't like how it looked, the, the way I stitched the, the material. So I was trying to figure out how I could cover it up and I got some lace. My grandma gave me this lace and I just made a bow. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, part one of my do-it-yourself room decor videos. I am going to start working on the second. I have a lot more ideas, um, a lot more things I want to do to decorate my room. So I, and if I would have put it all into one video, it would have been really long. It so I'm going to split it up into two videos. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, comment below and um, subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, one more thing, at the end of this series, at the my, my last video of this little do-it-yourself series, I'll do a I'll video my room and I'll show you guys where uh, all this stuff that I did, where, it, where I put it, and my room, what it looks like now, or what it will look like then. So I'll do like before and after. Because I'm doing all these, all these, um, these projects and I'm not really showing you guys what they look like in my room yet. I want to do it, like, I'll do a tour at the end. So that's it.